Okay, in this video we're going to do another example related to implicit differentiation. So here we've got this curve that's defined by x to the two-thirds plus y to the two-thirds equals eight. We want to find all points where the tangent line has slope of negative one. So to start this off we're just going to have to take the derivative. So we'll get two-thirds x, we'll have to subtract one, so that'll give us negative one-third. Plus, we'll do the same thing for the y. We'll get 2 thirds y to the negative 1 third. But here, since we're taking the derivative of something involving y, we have to tack on our dy dx. And then the derivative of 8 is just 0. So if we want to solve, we can subtract the negative 2 over 3 uh, x to the negative 1 third. Um, on the left side, we'll still have 2 thirds y to the negative 1 third times dy dx. And now we can just divide both sides by 2 over 3 y to the negative 1 third. 2 over 3 y to the negative 1 third. So on the left side we'll be left with uh, dy dx. The uh, negative 2 third and positive 2 thirds just cancel. We've got a negative 1 left over. And now the x to the negative 1 third will go to the denominator. We'll make that an x to the positive 1 third. And then our y to the negative one-third we can bring to the numerator and make it y to the positive one-third. So now we've got our derivative and what we want to happen, well we want our derivative negative y to the one-third over x to the one-third. We want that to equal negative one because we're finding all points where the tangent line has that slope. So alrighty, well, we can multiply both sides by negative one, and that would just give us, you know, positive y to the one-third over x to the one-third equals one. We can multiply both sides by x to the one-third. So that would tell us y to the one-third and x to the one-third have to be the same. But then we can cube those. And that tells me now that y has to equal x. Okay, well, um, I still don't know, you know, I can't just make up any two points that are equal because they also have to be sitting on this curve. So what we can do now is really you can think about we have a system of equations. We have the equation that y has to equal x, and we have the equation x to the two-thirds plus y to the two-thirds equals eight. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plug in the fact that y equals x into my original equation. So we can write x to the two-thirds plus, um, instead of, so, so we had x to the two-thirds plus y to the two-thirds equals eight, but now we're going to substitute in the fact that y equals x. So we'll get x to the two-thirds plus another x to the two-thirds equals eight. All right, well, um, that'll give us two x to the two-thirds on the left equals eight. We can divide both sides by two. So x to the two-thirds equals positive four. And now uh, a couple things to be careful about. Um, to get rid of the, uh, the denominator, we can cube both sides. So if we, and again, think about multiplying because these are in parentheses. So you have two-thirds times three or two-thirds times three over one. That'll give us just x squared. 4 to the third power, let's see, 4 times 4 is 16, times another 4 is going to give us 64. And now, last but not least, uh, to get rid of the square, we can square root both sides. Uh, have to remember to put a positive and negative on one of those sides. So we'll get x equals either positive or negative 8. Hey, that's super because we also know that uh, it has to satisfy this relationship that the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate are the same. So the points would be, well, if x equals positive 8, we know y has to be the same value, so y would have to be positive 8. And also the other would be if x equals negative 8, since y has to be that same value, uh, the other point would be... Uh, the y-coordinate would also be negative 8. So the two points in this case are 8, 8 and negative 8, negative 8.